fellow haunters, welcome to Grunge Haunts and Props. My name is Chris Leonardo, and today we will be fixing, or showing you how to fix uh, a broken prop that I found at a garage sale for 10 bucks. Uh, it's a giant skull. I think they had sold them at Home Depot a couple years ago. Um, you know, the eyes light up, makes a bunch of sound, has a motion sensor, um, and none of that was working, and it was all cracked and broken. Um, so, you know, they sold it for $10. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to rewire it and to um, clean up any of the corroded wires um, and rust and get it working again. So follow along and enjoy the video. Okay, I got this bad boy at a garage sale um, with a bunch of other stuff. I got it for like 10 bucks and had a uh, deer motor here which i used for my giant spider so i took that off um and deer motors you know that's like 30 35 bucks just by itself uh currently it doesn't work so we're just gonna take this apart and see if we can't fix the electronics it's supposed to you know eyes are supposed to light up supposed to make a bunch of noise and it's you know has a motion sensor um I believe they bought you bought these at uh, Home Depot, the Giant Skulls. So, so we're gonna take this apart and see if we can't fix the electronics in here. And then, obviously, there's you know there's like these cracks here and uh, and here. So if you can see that. Uh, we're gonna fix those and then maybe do a little bit of a rehab on this. Um, change it up. Probably do a, you know black wash. Do a little paint job and. Uh, make it look cool. So uh, here we go. Don't see any disconnected or loose wires here. So that's not very helpful. I mean, it's pretty rusted out, um, and these connections are, I mean, pretty shoddy. Come on. So I'm gonna have to take all these apart and see if there's any issues there. Um, yeah, just troubleshoot this. Yeah. You can just see how rusted out that is. So it could be battery connections, it could be wires, it could be the boards fried, it could be a number of things. So try to do a little wire brushing on this. just tape on these splices. Huh. I'll put some batteries in there see what that does it. Otherwise we'll keep uh, keep on trekking. Well I put new batteries in and that did not help either. So we'll keep on checking it out. So I'm just gonna redo all these wires one by one and uh See if we can't get to the bottom of it. So we've rewired everything. Did a wire brush on the terminals. Um, still not working. Now I'm gonna do a deep cleaning here with some with some white vinegar and rubbing alcohol and see if we can't get this going. Um, there's a lot of corrosion on the wire connections too. So we'll try those, try to get that off of there as well. 
Okay, so here we go. Okay, we're gonna clean that off with some rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna let that dry up and uh, we'll test it. Okay, so we're gonna put the batteries in and see if it works. Hey, it works. That's great. Okay, we can seal this up and start fixing the exterior. Okay, I'm gonna just take the old silicone off here and put a new band of silicone caulking on here. <clears throat> Quick change of plans. I am going to, since I can actually almost, well, barely fit my hand in this hole, I'm going to go and try to put plaster and fix the cracks and holes in the exterior from the inside. I'm just wetting down a small little piece of plaster to put right in that spot. Okay, so I let it dry for about 30 minutes and uh, it's pretty dry here, but you can see it's hard and it's, you know, stable. Um, and honestly, I almost don't have to do much to it, but I'm gonna put just a little bit of foam on here um and push it down and then add some texture to it try to smooth this out a bit so um so i'll put some foam and uh work on that next uh of course i'm using loctite foam for this and we're just gonna wet it down a little bit i don't need a lot here And I can always add more. So I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes so it becomes workable and sculptable and then start sculpting that little section here. Okay, I'm gonna try to knock this down a little bit early. It's gonna get messy. I need to flatten this out and get it, spread it out a bit. So I am gonna get, make a little mess on my hands. I'm just, you know, working it while it's drying. And the texture is actually pretty good. This skull has a lot of texture. Um, so I'm happy with the texture I'm getting out of this right now. It's pretty close. Uh, I will wait till this dries a little bit more and then I'll use some foil to just add some texture in it. I'm just crumpling up the foil, piece of foil, and I'm going to just press that down on here. Okay. 
we'll let that fully dry. Okay, so the, the foam is dried. It's on there really good. And uh, so we're ready to do, to kind of modify this a little bit. I really love the texture on this, so I'm not gonna make too many changes. I think all I'm gonna do is put um, some spikes on the head and then we will uh, paint those to somewhat match this yellowish color, kind of a beige color, tan, and then we will do a black wash on the whole thing. And, uh, and that's all I really wanna do because it looks pretty cool already now that it's fixed. So uh -huh. we'll get to working on it. Oh, so these, these spikes um, I make with a mold, um, and they're just made out of Loctite foam in a, in a, in a mold, and um, you can buy them if you don't want to make the mold. You can buy just styrofoam cones, just like this, uh, on Amazon, and they're pretty inexpensive, um, and those will work just fine for this. Now we just got to knock all of this down so it's not so gaudy. Make it look like the horns are growing out of there, the spikes are growing out of there, out of the head. So we're gonna do a spray paint of the camo beige khaki color. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna darken up the spikes a little. Foam's a little bit lighter than the plaster original, but uh, I like how that turned out. It looks pretty darn good. Okay, and here's a quick panoramic of it. Um, there's still blue tape on over that speaker, but. All right, we've got the batteries back in. Let's see if this thing works. All right. 
repaired and restored. Don't be afraid. I will hurt you. And altered. And here is a side-by-side -side of the Giant Skull Repair and Makeover. Hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like this video. If you are a haunter or Halloween enthusiast, consider subscribing to our channel so you can get updates and notifications anytime we put out new content. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy haunting!